What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did, you know, we captured a few Pokemon. Actually, every single Pokemon in that direction. I managed to keep two just for, you know, our convenience and all that stuff. And yes, off screen, I did train them just a little bit. As you can see, I put them both at level 8 because why not? Let's not overlevel them. We still got a lot of things to accomplish. Plus, we still got a gym badge. Um, and, uh, yeah. It is finally time to get the heck out of here and move on to the next place, which will have to be, what, Route 105? 3? I don't even know. And, shoot, the forest. Yes, the forest. No, it's Route 104. I'm one route ahead of myself. And if you go right here, you talk to this guy, he's like, if you're going to, or if you're going to throw a Pokeball, weaken the wild Pokemon first. It will be easier to catch if you if it's been uh, poisoned, burned, or lulled by sleep. Don't forget paralysis. I don't know what's the deal with paralysis. I don't know. And uh, well, here's a cool place right here. You get to run around, you get to see our footsteps and not. Uh, and oh god, there's this guy. He's like leaving footprints in the sand. Is so fun. Okay. Let's see how fun it is when I beat you with my Pokemon right here. So here we go, Youngster Billy coming out with his Zigzag Goon, and I'm coming out with a Shadow Lapuchiana right here. Yes, level 8, and it only learned one move, and that's uh, how, but you know what? We'll make it work right here, guys. Now, you guys have common, and, well, you guys have, I mean, you guys are probably thinking right here. It's like, why did you choose Puchiana? Is he going to be a permanent part of your team? I'm telling you this right now. I'm going to keep on reminding you guys. No, he will not be a uh, permanent part of my team because I am going to try and use a, a nice plethora of Pokemon along the way right here because it's Poen. I, you know, one of my favorite regions right here. And uh, as you can see, kicking butt right now. It's going to go up against the C dot. And yes, I did, I did capture a C dot right around here somewhere. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to, I already have a wish list of Pokemon that I want to use. Eventually, I'm going to form probably one of the best teams that I have or that I have ever had. Especially going with a, a Mudkip uh, as my starter right here. And this guy wait, wants to use his Bite Attack, but won't work. Here we go. And, oh, wow. Really? Missed. It's going to use Bite again. So I'm going to try and power up my Pokemon just a few uh, a few more. That way be, uh, that way I can actually finish this guy off in one hit. And uh, he does still, you know, storing energy. We're going to continue on right here with the attack ri risen in. He unleashes no energy right now. And right here, you better not miss. Ooh, nearly beats him right there. And, uh, well, that special attack's not going to work at all. So let's finish him off one more time with that gra or that tackle attack. As you can see, Shadow kicking butt. Almost grows to level 9 right there. And he's like, wah! Saying my runners, they're pretty little gritty. That's right. Beat you, bud. All right, so now that we got a little bit of a, a taste of shadow, let's go with Guy and see what's up right here. Now, I don't know if, how many trainers there are right here. Ooh, could there be a double battle? The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like to be on the bottom of the sea. Hmm. I fished up a tough-looking Pokemon. It has the magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. Okay. So this is new. This is like a new Pokemon right here or a new trainer. Can't remember, and this guy, his name is Darian. He's coming out with his Magikarp. Seriously, Magikarp. Now, if it was a shiny Magikarp, I'd try and trade it for you, but no. And yes, it learned Confusion finally. I'm happy about that. That's all I need right now, especially in this area. And there's that Confusion tag. We're gonna go one more time. Gonna hit it with one more Confusion just to finish off this uh, so-called strong Pokemon. Here we go. As you can see, bam, more, more experience points. And he, yeah, my, my team is looking pretty good right right about right now. And uh, I think a Pokemon that you can actually find right here, like I think you can find a Meryl right here. I could be wrong. Swallow is here, or Kalo, I should say. And I already talked to that guy, so I'm going to go up here. And uh, that is not a Pokemon trainer. She's like, the Seaside Cottage is where Mr. Briney lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Or... I don't even know. And Mr. Briney's Cottage. Let's go ahead and take a look at where Mr. Briney's at. And he is nowhere to be found. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to move on ahead, right? I guess. And, uh, ooh, look at that. More berries. Like I said in the last episode, uh, these berries have been named. And you can actually plant these berries, too. That way you can grow more berries and have more berries. 
you know, you guys know what I mean. And uh, return to its loamy state, and uh, we got a Pokemon here. So I'm gonna use a potion. I have to use a potion right now. So Shadow, of course, you have a very, very weak defense. I don't want to battle with you right now. And here we go. We must have, uh, or we must have been fated to meet. May I ask for, a, may I ask you for a battle? Wow. Just when I thought I could, I could read better or read good, or I don't even know, guys. So here we go, it's Lady Cindy, and she's gonna come out with her zigzagoon. Okay, good challenge for my uh, Pokemon right here. Traced its pickup. Alrighty, let's go. Confusion and uh, oh god, don't want to, don't want that to happen. Alrighty, confusion attack again, and uh, that zigzagoon is just you know pounding away on my Gaia. And there we go. Finishes him off. Gaia, that's right, getting experience points. And, you know, beating a Gaia or beating a lady or a rich boy, they actually give you a good amount of money, so uh, make sure to beat them every single time. And let's see, let's see. Hello is the beginning of goodbye. I hope we meet again. We will. We will. Alrighty. Usually I stop around here just because, you know, hey, I want to explore every route. But no, we're going to go inside the Petalbrook Woods because. Let's make this more adventurous. So here it is, guys, the Petalburg Woods. And trainer tips. Any Pokemon that appears even once in a battle is awarded experience points. To raise a weak Pokemon, put it at the left of the team list. As soon as a battle starts, switch it out and it will earn experience points without being exposed to any harm. That's exactly what I did with my uh, my Ralt. It's a lot of battling right there. And uh, let's see. Sometimes there are things on the on the ground you can't even see. That's why I always check where I'm walking. Okay, where 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 are these things right here? Usually, these uh or the vacant squares right there on grasses. That's usually uh, a hint that hey, there's a hidden item right there. And look at that, Silcoon. Uh, Silcoon. <clears throat> wow, I don't even know why my my voice is all dry and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna battle you. Don't want to battle you. Right here, and as you can see, found ourselves a potion, which is also good. Very very good. So let's go right here. And would you look at that? We can get a Pokeball right here, and this is a Pokeball. I think that was a great ball in the Ruby and Sapphire. Talk to her. It's like you're a thief if you're trying to steal someone else's Pokemon. You should throw Pokeballs to only wild Pokemon. All right. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, move on forward to the Petalburg Woods. Of course, there is a Pokemon here that I would love to capture. Probably why I'm so happy that you guys chose my uh, chose Mudkip over uh, Trico because. Ooh, man. I got my eye on somebody. One of my favorite grass-type Pokemon right around here. You guys probably have an idea of what I'm talking about. And, uh, let's see. I think we have a trainer battle. So, well, let's switch him up right here. Let's go with Shadow. Pretty sure we can do a little bit of damage with Shadow here. He's like, I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my bug Pokemon team. All right, let's go. Let's see. What do we got? We got bug, bug Catcher Lyle, and he's coming out with his worm pull. All right, all right. Good thing we stocked up on antidotes. We don't want to get poisoned or anything like that. Here we go, tackle attack. And, uh, well, another tackle attack right here. Finishes him off. That's right. Destroyed you. And uh, would you look at that? Level 9, Shadow. And he finally grows an uh, learns another move with the Shadow attacks. Not that much, but it's still something. And uh, let's go with Gaia again because uh, I think this I think this bug Pokemon is also a poison type. I would like to think so. I want to know, maybe. So here we go. Gaia's traced, and here we go. Confusion attack. And that was a good move right there. All right, we're gonna stick with Gaia. We need to uh, grow to level nine right here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Confusion attack. Never misses. Well, sometimes misses. I don't even know. Go. And he's coming out with another Wurmple. So I'm going to stick with Gaia right here because it's, it's going to take three Wurmples to actually make it grow level right here. And uh, here we go. Confusion attack. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And look at that. Grows to level nine doing such a good job right here. He's like, I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. Yep. That's probably a, that's probably because you just caught them. I don't even know. And here we have a paralysis heal, which is good. We're still keeping that count right there of how many times I get paralyzed during an episode or during a whole 
the whole series. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna it's gonna be over 30 times. I'm pretty sure of it, guys. Alright, I'm gonna use that runaway. <laughs> that isn't that's not a lot well, that's not much of a move right there, so. We're gonna move over right here, and the reason I'm stepping on the grass is because yes, I'm purposely doing this to try and find a specific Pokemon right here. It, a, a specific Pokemon, like my Latin friends would like to say it. And uh, well, I'm trying, I'm trying to find, but let's see. I think I should try it one more time before we go up, up right here, because there's somebody waiting for us. And no, that is a Cascoon. Okay, a Cascoon different from a silicone right there. I probably should have captured that silicone. So, right here, this guy's looking around and he's like, "Hmm. Not a one, not a one to be found." Hello. Have you seen any po a Pokémon uh, named Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokémon. And uh, would you look at that? He's like, "I was going to go I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle uh or you had to dawdle in the Petalburg woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon researcher." Hand over the papers. Okay. Hey! Your Pokemon are you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please! Huh? What do you think you're doing? What? You're going to protect them? No one who crosses Team Monka gets uh gets any mercy. Not even a kid! Come on and battle me. So I am forced to battle this guy right here. This is awesome. I I'm forced to battle this guy and uh Hey, he's like he's he's looking all pretty awesome right here, but he's coming out with his Poochiana right here. So Swamp Lord, ready to kick some butt. Let's go with that Water Gun right here. Water Gun does a, eh, it doesn't do that much right there. And here we go again with another Water Gun. And, and uh, well, I guess that Pokemon doesn't like water at all. And look at that, look at that, defeated him with just one Pokemon. You're kidding me! You're tough. That's right, I am tough. I'm Tony the Tiger tough. That's right. Grr. You got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we are Team Aqua. Are, are we of Team Aqua are also uh, after something at Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Okay. Hmm. That was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know. I'll give you a great ball as in my thanks. And of course, we get ourselves a better Pokeball right here. And he's like... Didn't that team Aqua Thug say that they were out, they were after something in Rustboro too? Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Okay, alrighty, all right, okay. So let's go ahead and try and find that Pokemon that you know we've been wanting to find. And of course, you know you guys already have an idea what Pokemon it is. Me, I want to capture a Shroomish because that Pokemon is awesome when it evolves. It turns into Grass and Fighting type Pokemon, and it's perfect addition to my team so I'm gonna waste a little bit of time right here just trying to find the guy see if I can uh, you know see if I can find it right here within this episode of course it's it's a very very hard Pokemon to find so let's go right ahead and uh, you know get away from these cascoons so let's try it again come on let's find Shroomish and no that is a Wurmple that is a friggin Wurmple okay Okay, let's let, let's just go away right here. Uh, maybe not here. All right, let's talk to this guy. And he's like, "Yo, there, your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you should tr stay out of the tall grass." Okay, and uh, this should probably be an item right there, right? Yes, a Pokeball. Alrighty, and uh, again, I'm still trying to find that uh, Shroomish. There it is. How you doing there, Shroomish? It's me. It's me. It's GLD. And I'm going to try and capture you, buddy, because I need you. I want you. That's right. And that was a critical hit. Man, that, om that, that almost screwed me over right there. And, uh, well, there's that absorb attack, which is going to take a nice amount from mine. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use that Great Ball. I'm going to use that Great Ball that uh, that nice guy gave us. And, uh, here we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the ball, guy. Yes! That's right. That's right, guys. We just got ourselves our next Pokemon right there. Look at that. So here we go. Shroomish, the mushroom Pokemon. It loves to eat damp, composed soil, and forest. 
if you enter a forest after a long rain, you can see many shroomers feasting on compo uh, composed, composted soil. Wow. Wow. Really need to fix something on my reading, guys. Sorry about that. And, uh, well, do you want to give a nickname to this shroomish? Yes, I do. Uh, let's see. Jean-Claude. That should, that should be a name, nickname right there. Jean-Claude. Or, you know, J... Let's see. J.C. V. Nah. I'm trying to name it after, like, a cool kung fu guy that I, I know. Let's see. Ah, here we go. I got something. I got something. I got something for many of you guys. Okay. So, here we go. Shroom. Damn it. Right here. Shroom. That's right, guys. I'm gonna call him Shroom Lee. <laughs> it's a good nickname right there, guys. It is. It is a good nickname. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon right here. And here we have Shroomly, the Shroomish, and it is a grass-type Pokemon. Its ability is Effect Spore, which, of course, leaves a spore, uh, leaves spores on contact, meaning if any of uh, the opponent's Pokemon physically attacks this Pokemon right here, it doesn't matter what it is. It may put it to sleep, paralyze it, or it might poison it. Its uh, nature is Relax, which, again, comment down below. Let me know what this whole Relax thing is. And its stats are pretty, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're all right. I mean, special attack's not its biggest thing. Speed as well. But, you know, its defense and special defense is pretty good right there. And as you can see, it has two attacks. Good Pokemon. Good, good Pokemon. So I'm going to not use a Pokeball. I'm going to just heal it because, you know, I'm going to use it in battle. I'm going to try and beat everybody right here. And, uh... Um, I shouldn't worry about any of my other Pokemon right here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch him up right here to Shadow. And uh, we're going to see what happens right here. So there we go. If you take a bug Pokemon to school, you get you get the to be instantly popular. How? Wait. How how do you get popular? I thought people don't like Bug-type Pokemon. I don't know. So there we go. Bug Catcher James. He wants to come out with his Ninkata. Ninkata. Isn't Ninkata like a rock type Pokemon as well? I want to say, I want to say yes, or it evolves into a rock type Pokemon, or ground type. It could be. Oh crud! Oh crud! I'd forgotten that. Yeah, I completely forgot that. Uh, <laughs> that uh, that that attack does some damage to my uh, dark type Pokemon. I completely forgot about it. So I'm gonna be switching it up right here to Swamp Lord, and there's that hardened attack. And. Uh, Alrighty, let's go with that water gun. See if uh, it is a Grand type Pokemon, a Rock type. It is. Bye bye, Ninkata. That's right. Didn't see that coming, right? That's right. And uh, let's see, Ninkata again. So I'm gonna just stick stick with Swamplor right here. Ninkata just looking like a badass right now. I think it's like a ninja and a kata. I don't even know. Akuta Matata. That's what it sounds like. What a wonderful phrase, you know? Akuna Matata. I'm not even gonna sing the song, guys. I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not going to try. Okay, so we beat this guy. He's like, if you have a big bug Pokemon, people respect you for it. How? What about the chicks, guy? Do the chicks love it? I just want to know. So we got that taken care of, and uh, well, there's another Pokemon that wants to attack us. Don't want to battle you. I really don't. Shadow, you have done enough for today, right here. <laughs> Using that fleet attack or a flea. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we do? What do we do? Shroomly. Shroomly. I wanted to call it Jean Claude Van Shroom or something. I don't know. I'm reading this, but uh, PP and uh, HP, that's some good stuff. So, as you can see, we can't go right here because we need a cut technique. And uh, that's pretty much it right there for this area right here, guys. So. What we're going to do is we're going to stop right here at Route 104. We're going to continue on right here to this route all the way to Rustboro and just, you know, knock out a few things along the way. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough.